Hey, 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 hey. Welcome to the Eli Smith Soul Patrol Podcast. That's right. Or should I say welcome to Soulville? Yeah, this is a very soulful place on the internet. This is a very soulful place at, at WIGO. And when I say it's soulful, man, I'm like, uh, because I'm from Atlanta and uh, I got started at this radio station in high school in 1975. And uh, I'm in radio now for 30 plus years. And uh, I'm here on the radio doing a podcast and God has turned things around for me. I used to do that, but now I'm doing this. And I don't know about you today, but I'm glad and I'm thankful. Yeah. To God. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, boy. Awesome. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Yeah. Got so much to be thankful for. Thank you. Yes, sir. Every now and then, you ought to just say thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. To your loved ones. Every now and then, you just walk in the room and say thank you. Yes. Yes, sir. And definitely to God, who put up with me, who put up with us. Yeah. The same God that woke up my podcast coordinator. Yes. The same God that woke up my very special guest. Yes. Rick Fly. But then on top of that, I don't know which one of them woke up first, but he touched his wife. Yes. The same God. They woke up Barack Obama. Yes. Hallelujah. The same God. They split the Red Sea. And if God can split the Red Sea, what can he do for me? <laughs> Everything. If he, if he can split the Red Sea, he can handle me. He can work. He, 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 Eli, if God can do that, he can do this. Don't worry about it. Slow down. Stress. Don't stress yourself. And just continue to tell the Lord thank you. And if I don't say anything else, if I will wrap up the podcast right now and just keep it moving, I've done enough. Welcome to the Eli Smith Soul Patrol podcast, and we call it the Soul Patrol because we are on patrol for souls. And at the end of the broadcast, we always like to extend the invitation to someone who has never accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. But that's someone who um, thinks that um, you have to be in church, or you gotta go to, uh, you gotta be in church to do your, you gotta be in church to. Uh, <laughs> To, to get saved. You got to have a pastor in front of you to get saved. No, you don't have to. I'm not knocking it because I'm a minister, but I want you to know, don't. If you were drowning <laughs> and it was Tuesday and somebody trying to save you, tell me this, would you wait till Sunday to get saved? No. You ain't got to wait, baby. And for those of you like me who said, when I stop drinking, when I stop smoking, when I stop sleeping around, when I stop, when I stop, when I stop, I'm then I'm going to get myself together, see you down the wrong street already. Because if I could have got myself together a long time ago, I would have done it. But I need some help. We all need help. I'm going to say this and I'll move on. I remember... God gave me this illustration. I was on the air one day. And he said, we always had to, had to have help. We always had to have some help. My mom and my daddy, James and Eddie May, got together. It was a good night. They got together. And then I came along. But I needed help. I needed them to help me get here. They were, then my mother through the umbilical cord, carried me in her body for nine months. And then on December the 23rd, 1958, at 12 noon, I came into the world. And then I got some more help. The doctor. He told my mama to push and push, and they, and, 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 they, and they 
I got put in the hands of a doctor. Come on here. I got put in the hands of the doctor. And then the doctor took me to the nurse and put me in the incubator. And because I had yellow ginas, my mother said, baby, I couldn't bring you home because you had yellow ginas. But my daddy <laughs> named me. And one day I said, Mama, how in the world? And I said it just like this. How in the world did I get stuck with the name Carl Eli Smith? If you've been watching my podcast on a regular basis, I've told this story before. When she said, when I said, Mama, how in the world? Rick, I said, Mama, how in the world did I get stuck with? And that's exactly how I said it. Stuck with? How did you get stuck with? With the name Carl Eli Smith. How did you get stuck with? And then she spoke these words. Now, the, the first two words sold me. She said, your daddy. Uh -huh. Then the third, third the next two words, she said, your daddy named you. That's all wow. I needed to hear. Because, because I heard that my, my daddy, he passed when I was about five or six, so I never got a chance to really get to know him. But he thought enough of me to give me a name call with Carl Eli Smith. And he said, my mom said he named you. Carl Eli, and he gave you the middle name Eli because Eli was a good man, and Eli was uh, a name out of the Bible. Mm. I don't know where my daddy was spiritually. I don't know if he was a member. I don't know. Right. And because I didn't communicate with my mother like I should have or could have, I didn't ask her one day. That's why I said before, and we, we're going to do the podcast with you, Doc. But like I said before, every now and then you need to sit down and interview your, your people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get a testimony. Sit down. Y'all got the family union. Go ahead and say, okay, we're going to have a family union, but I want permission. permission. To anybody who's willing, I want to set up a little table over here, get a microphone, what, don't talk. My, I, didn't, I don't know where my daddy was spiritually, but I know he thought enough of me mm. to name me Carl Eli Smith. Well, then I started working in the nightclubs. I worked at Lee John's Nightery on Delow and Cam on, and, and, uh, off, Cap off of Camilton Road. And I was saying my whole name, uh, Rick. I was saying Carl Eli Smith. Then everybody just picked out Eli, Eli, Eli. Mm -hmm. Then G Eli said it on the cross. <laughs> uh, and then people just started calling me Eli. And then I got a job on a gospel radio station with the name Eli. It all came together. So... Uh, Brother Rick, when I say I'm thankful, and I know you know it already. Yes, sir. You understand, Dr. understands the importance of being thankful. I'm thankful today. And yes, I'm sir. thankful today, and we're going to extend the invitation to the Soul Patrol. Soul uh, Patrol. Um, be, be, before we get off, how much how much time I got, Dante? I got 10 minutes. Okay. All so right. um, being in radio for the time that I've been in radio, I've met a lot of people. A lot of people across my path. And this gentleman sitting next to me, one his wife your wife crossed my path, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did we meet here? Uh actually we met over the phone. We met over the phone? Yes, sir. Uh was I here or was I W Y Z E? Do you remember? W Y Z E. But then you went you you were on your way over, you were in transition. Yeah, yeah but don't shh. Okay, sir. That was still shh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so your wife, I met your wife, and she mentioned you. Yes, sir. And I learned from Dwayne Jones, may he rest in peace. I've learned from uh, Mitch Faulkner, may he rest in peace. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. And other great personalities. <laughs> Take too long to mention. I learned this. Uh, Mitch Faulkner, one, one time I had brought a young, baby, young man by the name of... Uh, uh, I forget his name, but he went to Bethune College. But before he went to college, I called up, uh, Rick, I called up uh, uh, Mitch Falk to say, hey, Mitch, I got this young man that's going to Bethune-Cookman College. He's interested in radio. Can I bring him down to the studio? Th at that time, he was doing uh, a house party or basement party. What, Blue lights in the basement. Blue lights in the basement. Yeah. So I took him down there. I think we got there about a quarter to 11. He goes off the air. I think... We got there about a quarter to 11, maybe it was a quarter to 10. But nevertheless, when he got off the air, we stayed there for a whole hour. Wow. And Mitch was just pouring into this brother and want information and inspiration. He didn't have to do that. And then at the end, he said, he told us during the conversation, he said, you know, I learned from this guy who taught, the guy who taught him how to do production. He said, mm -hmm. one day... He was teaching them. He said, man, Mitch asked him, what can I do to repay you? How can I pay you? He said, no, you don't have to pay me a dime. 
But what I want, not my payment will be whenever you meet somebody who's interested in doing what you're doing, help them, show them the way. Right. Keep the door of opportunity cracked for the next man because you ain't going to be here forever. So fast forward, how do we meet? And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, this is radio personality, entrepreneur, podcast cook. And that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 that's I, a new one. <laughs> I thought about it. I let the last man say, man, can you just cook, do some to cheese and eggs and right, and, right. Some, and but next time we're gonna have you back just <laughs> yeah 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 that's so, totally fine and, you, and that's how, and, and and recently uh, over the last couple of years I've been watching him on podcast him cooking you look was that the little boy yes sir cooking yeah. with you Mr. So, Mad Rick, 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 Rick Rick is a radio personality. Tell us a little bit about what you do, and welcome to the Eli Smith Soul Patrol. Well, thank you, brother. So much. You know I love you, man. You love know you too, I love man. You. Well, Rick, Rick, can we use your about your 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 birth name, or do we just stick with Rick Fly? Well, my birth name is Ricky D. Dotson. Okay, and that's, that's, I'll tell that's, people, you know, professionally, I learned to walk in some rooms and say, hi, I'm R.D. Dotson. You know what? And, I'm, and I'm in a, some rooms I walk in, I'd be like, what's happening, good people? This is Rick Flaw all the way live. Doing it in stride, moving and grooving, post-dating you like a check. And the post-dated check of the day is I'm here at WIGO where the pace setters, 1570 AM, a blend of classic and R&B and your favorite gospel right here. And sitting with Mr. Carl Eli on the What's the name of your show again? The, the, the Eli Smith Soul Patrol. The Soul Patrol. The Eli Smith Soul Patrol Show. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I want you to wait before we get too far. Before I, get, I want you to do me a drop real quick. I want you to say, hey, this is, this is Rick Fly, and you're listening, listening to the power moment. No, you say, hey, I'm in the midst of, you're in the middle of a power moment with your guy, Eli. Hey, this is Rick Fly, and you're in the middle of a power moment with your guy, Eli. You got that? Hey, man, so we met. Your wife told me you were interested in radio. Yes, sir. And I called you. And how would the conversation go? Because I'm, well, I'm 64. I don't remember much. <laughs> well, I mean, as I remember, it was clear. It was just like yesterday, me and you, Eli. Um, I was somewhere. We went to walk, and we was at Grant Park getting ready to walk, me and my wife. And at the time, she wasn't my wife, but then she was my wife. Okay, you know, okay. If mm-hmm. you didn't touch anybody, you know, God say if you Come on touch them, then you're married to them. So now, that's why I had married that's, that's for another show, but ain't yes, no sir. <laughs> so, uh, but we, we tied the knot, and we made it official paper-wise. Okay. Um, after putting all the, we put two families together. But going back to that that uh, day, man, she was like, hey, I met this guy. You need to talk to him. He's in radio and blah, 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 because I was looking for a terrestrial radio okay. here in Atlanta, man. I'm from Atlanta. I was born in Ohio, but raised here in Atlanta. I pursued radio here, and they told me at V103, you're too hyper. Mm. I'm like, too hyper? I just got personality. And what y'all got over there ain't personality mm. to me, and no, no, no shade, shade to nobody. Okay. But, you know, I'm just... I'm used to watching people on air really just having fun and mm-hmm. giving it to the people, you mm-hmm. know. The whole tagline stuff, I, I had a chance to meet... Mitch Faulkner, and he told my mm. wife, he was like, boy, you got it. I didn't go to school for it. I just. You got it. I got it, you know. But uh, fast forward with you, Eli, you uh, called and talked to you, and you just, you immediately was like, seemed like I heard you before, Rick Fly. And, you know, I went to talking, and you gave me an opportunity that um, that same day. You said, look, I want you to go down to the, um, it was a red carpet event. Okay. And you said, do you have a camera crew? I said, I do video editing and media. That was my company, Multimedia. I was walking around town doing red carpets by myself. I had the Rick, Rick Fly Red Carpet Show. I would, p- people would pay me to come on their red carpets and be a personality and bring wow. air and, wow. you know, life wow. to it. But uh, you gave me the opportunity to take this red carpet gig, and um, I was like, I don't know about it. And I told my wife at the last minute, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to do this. And she was like, yes, you are. You're okay. going to do it. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're going to do this. And she kept just saying, she always told me, just be obedient. Yeah. Do right. what God put in before you and mm-hmm. in, in your face. So mm-hmm. when it did the red carpet and I was, you had a camera guy that came with me. It was mm-hmm. your camera guy, actually, because mm-hmm. um, I was going to book a camera guy. And the guy showed up and we got on the red carpet and the guy, they took me and placed me up front, Miss Diane. Wow. <laughs> and Miss Diane called me about two weeks ago. I met her. I never knew who she was, but when I walked in to get my pass and get my band, 
She was like, who are you? I said, I'm Rick Fly. And next thing you know, the whole table just turned around like, Rick Fly. And I said, yes, ma'am. And they was like, something about you. I was like, well, it is. You know, and so I walked out and she said, we're going to put you up front. So it was a, probably 100 media people there. I was up <laughs> beside Roland Martin, BET. They placed me between BET Whoa. and it was another uh, heavy hitter station. And everybody that came through, I got to interview everybody. But everybody came over to that one corner because it was such a light going off over there. And if other camera people started filming me. So I had to understand that God, when God make you the light and mm. when he give you a personality oh, like mine, it can be detrimental to you. I tell my children it could be a default, but it is a blessing because you are used to go before people and give people energy, pour into people like Mitch Faulkner to sit before someone who I call him the Godfather of Radio. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no doubt. Because to sit in his presence, and mm. I've been in the studio with mm. him and work with him, and he showed me how to do the voiceover stuff. I was doing voiceover work, and just the he's the wizard. He was a wizard, mm. and he and my wife, she was on his show down at uh, one hundred four, mm. um, the Mitch Faulkner show, um, not the Blue Light in the Basement, but uh, Saturday nights on Saturday nights and stuff. And uh, <laughs> I mean, he. He let a lot of people come across that platform, and he lifted them up. You know, they were like, oh, I'm in front of Mitch Faulkner. He was like, no, no, it's about you. So it was a pleasure to have him come over on my show. And I was <laughs> one of the first people to do internet radio, and we did a <laughs> hell of a radio show, man. I, I'm a, a stickler about production, so <laughs> our show, I did a four-hour show with five people. I had a cast of five people, and I had to teach them you know, what production was. So, you know, we had Rick Flaw all the way live, doing it in stride, moving the group and post there. You like a check. We had Tony Nicole running in six inch heels. That's favorable and blessed. We had Fruit by the Pound dropping news all around the A Town. We had uh, DJ Cat from Yo Block, his block, everything, block party DJs. And we had Cap, Car- <laughs> I mean, um, uh, Kylie Mystique, who was all things fashion. Mm-hmm. I called him an ultimate lifestyle guy. You know, won't he do it? He already did it. And we. We put on a show, man. When he do it, he already did <laughs> yeah. it. What my time look like, Dante? Good God Almighty. <laughs> so, man. you know, we did a whole lot over there. So I, my experience was coming to, after all of that, I met you. And we've still stayed in contact, you know, man. after all these years. I'm and, so proud of you, man. Yeah, I'm proud of mm-hmm. you too, man. And so Lord, that makes sense. after I left radio, um, I became an at-home father. You know, me and my son... Uh, Mr. Mad died. How old is he now? He's six. Okay. Mm-hmm. And he has a brand, so I branded him. Oh, and God. when people see us out in public now, they say, hey, Rick Fly. Now they're saying, Mr. Mad died. What's up, man? And he's looking at them like, who are these people? But they watched him on social media, do production work, do skits and stuff with me, be in the kitchen with me because I started the Rick Fly cooking experience. Yeah. Where I just took music and fused it with uh, food. Okay. And so... Talk about your, he also has a food truck. Yes. And he's going to be a big part of, let me, let me get a shameless plug, the WIGO um, Tasteful Tuesday. Tasteful Tuesday. It's coming back. As a That's matter right. of fact, was the last weekend, last Wednesday and the first Thursday? First, uh, Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's going to be coming the, up, huh? Coming up in, in, in uh, March. It's March. Okay. And uh, we definitely want to talk to you about having your food truck on. Well, most definitely. We're going to be all around. And, and I like I like the way you told me, uh, Rick, you said, I want to, when people come to my food truck, they're going to be hearing music. That's right. And music and food goes together. You out at the club, don't let them, don't, <laughs> don't let them be selling the wings. And you yeah. at the club, you done had a few... And I don't drink anymore. I got, I don't, I don't, and if you drink, that's good for you. Yeah, that's right. I good look, I, Carl, <laughs> before you, I got you, here this you, morning, you, I had me a Bloody Mary sitting there <laughs> eating breakfast at uh, at Rosie, the restaurant called Rosie. I dropped shameless my son plug. off at school. Rosie, and, shameless plug for you, baby. <laughs> we got to get some money from her. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, if you have a if you have music and some wings, man, you gonna you gonna enjoy the music and. Mm-hmm. Get them wings, music and food. And so wow. I, I, I tag that as we're moving and grooving foodies. 
Wow. That's on the side of the truck. Oh, good. Moving and grooving. grooving foodies. Foodies. Wow. Yeah. And so the name of the company is My BLT. I got a shirt on them. My BLT. I'm going to do like Clark Kent. Come know, on now. Bunch Superman. Of Look, get it. <laughs> <laughs> so you see that face? It's yeah. My BLT Gourmet. My daughter drew the logo. Okay. And uh, it's bringing color to your palate. Wow. And uh, BLT stands for not bacon, lettuce, and tomato. It stands for bringing love to the table. So, Come on. you know, Come God on. prepares a table for you. Yeah. And my wife, thank, I thank God for us. You know, and I tell you. Don't you, just leave, leave Oh, you're going to leave me. I, mean, I ain't going to charge you this time. <laughs> okay. But, you know, next time you got to bring your checkbook with you. Okay, go ahead. Blood, what are you saying about your wife? Well, I thank God for a wife, you know, because the Proverbs 31 woman, virtuous woman, she's a blessing to the household. She brings peace, but she prays for a man. Mm. And, a man is well respected out into in the community. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know, one thing I know about my wife is she believes in me because when we get in front of people, she talks about me. And I'm sitting there like mm -hmm. having a conversation with people and I only give you so much. I don't give people all of me okay. unless I'm on stage and I'm like on behind a microphone okay. like, hey, what's happening, good people? But she'll tell me, oh, he's being modest. He's not really telling you who he is and what mm. he's done. And I'm like, well, you be quiet. I don't feel like entertaining <laughs> nobody right now. This folk ain't interested in all yeah. that. I'm just like, I'm ready to get gone, you know, because I'm, I'm, kind of <laughs> I'm kind of shy, but, yeah, you know, I'm not. Me too. Yeah, yeah. so uh, I do thank God for it because she always press me, press it for it. She yeah. pays it for it. Mm -hmm. And when I don't want to talk sometimes, you know, I'm not moody, but I'm just like, okay, great. Hey, pleasure to meet you. Who are you? Oh, good. Who are you? You know, and she'll make me open up and be like, look, this hey, guy is blah, blah, blah. He's my Superman. So yeah. I take my shirt off and say, hey, I'm yeah. Superman to yeah, the people, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. And mm -hmm. um, But I'm thankful for it. And I'm thankful for us being able to do my BLT Gourmet because if it wasn't for her asking me for a BLT on 2015, well, 2016, New Year's Day, mm -hmm. after we got home from mm -hmm. a party, uh, we conceived <laughs> my son at that year, and we birthed my BLT. I went wow. in, she was like, I want a BLT. I'm like, I'm not going back out the house to do a BLT. So we did one in the house, and it wow. did it more gourmet style. And we posted it on our Facebook. We did a live. Wow. And here it is, 2023, we got the truck finally, and mm. we got the people already tasted the product. I've been promoting this for six years. Wow. So I'm waiting. You know, we've watered the ground. You know, we, yeah, we yeah, tilled yeah. the ground. Yeah, with yeah, yeah, yeah. The and seeds now, are planted. Yeah, and we've planted uh, the seeds. Mm -hmm, we gave mm -hmm. away shirts and t shirts, and we just kept talking about it. And people are like, hey, man, when are you going to do a food truck? When are you going to do a food mm. truck? And now, Eli, to be honest with you, got the food truck. Doing the other paperwork, you know, getting the inspections and stuff done as mm -hmm. we speak, um, getting the commissary location. But the truck is sitting in my yard. Wow. Fully stocked. <sighs> Everything I need in it, right? But there was a little fear okay. of, of me because it's not me. You know, when God give you a vision that you've carried that long and then it's t and when he's birthing it, mm -hmm. all hell break loose. Me and my wife was going at it. Me and the kids going at it. Everybody I could think of was at my throat. And I'm like this. Okay. <laughs> like, you up. better bag up off of me, <laughs> you know. Um, but to be honest with you, I was going through a birthing pain. Mm. Yeah, mm. a birthing pain to carry That's something good. that long. That's good. And, and then you realize that it's larger than life. Mm -hmm. It's huge. And it's time to come out. It's, it's you right. Can't carry, the woman's carrying baby for nine months, but when it's time to come. It's time to come. And my wife Hello. was pushing. Here I and is. I realized that it wasn't the enemy mm -hmm. trying to attack me. It was just God using the enemy to help me push. Mm. You know, the enemy, uh, thank you. But it can't thank you because mm. he's, he was just used as a tool, too. So for mm -mm -mm. people, when you're thinking, oh, that's just the devil. The devil uh -uh. is always busy. Okay. If he wasn't busy, you wouldn't know what God was Giving to Giving the you. devil more credit than yeah. he. The devil, I think sometimes the devil say, well, shoot, I can relax today because Eli done gave me credit for about 100 things. I'm not going to well, do it still. If, but, if but, it but wasn't. I, but then you know what, but for you to say that. Uh, earlier this week, I made that comment to somebody, and they said, "No, it ain't the devil. Mm -mm. It's God doing, allowing, it, allowing the devil and doing things for to you. sift you See, like we. Come on now. And if he did sift you, you wouldn't know who God was in your life. You wouldn't know the power that you have. You wouldn't be able to activate and walk in the anointing that you have. 
My BLT is all, this is all anointed that's on my shirt because I told my daughter, I drove her around, told her to look at the different restaurants and give me all the colors that you see. And she put it in here. And mm. I said, this is, I want a mouth with a bread. See. It's a, a loaf of bread. Whoa. This is a bread. This mouth is wide open, the bread of life. <sighs> so we're going to be talking. This food is talking. This is a ministry. This ain't just a money-making capital. And it's a thing that goes from generation to generation, which is three D, three generations. I got 3D Legacy LLC that I did for my sons. Wow. That's three generations of wealth. So this is a product. My BLT is a product of it wow. and all that good stuff. So, man, I just I like to tell everybody, when you see the My BLT truck anywhere in the city, throw your hands up. We got a website uh, getting ready to be launched. Uh, it's MyBLT.com. We got everything on Instagram, My BLT Gourmet LLC. Uh, just look it up. Look on Facebook, my BLT uh, Gourmet, and um, the number is four seven zero. Let me get your number. So we're gonna do catering. We're gonna cater special events, and we're gonna cater um, public events, and we're gonna cater um, uh, events where for nonprofits. You know, you gotta have the bread, but we are gonna feed a lot of people. Our thing is to feed people. Right, you know, right, right. Any right, overflow right. that we have, we're gonna give it away, take it to the homeless, feed Come the homeless, they, they feed is. those that are in need. Um, because mm -hmm. we are, God has set the table. I'm sitting at the mm -hmm. table right now. And my wife, go back to where I was sidetracked. My wife said, Rick, Mr. Dodson. I'm like, looking at her like, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, a woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she mm -hmm. said, the table is prepared. Mm. And I thought about it, and God dropped it in my spirit so quick that he prepares a table for us. Yeah. Right? In the presence of our enemy. Uh huh. That don't matter. It don't matter if they're your family, because some of your family is enemy. Come on, come on now. The enemy will use them. Come on. But they are on the other side of the table. And they ain't sitting down. If he prepared a table for you, you're sitting like me and you. But everything on the other table still standing up. There's no seat on the other side. So they can't sit at your table. They can just walk on by. That means they's a, they are uh, uh, what you call it, like the... Eric B, not Eric B, but uh, what's the name of that group that tells them they're a customer. You're a customer. Mm. The Green Eye Bandit, uh, what's his name? Green, Green Eye Bandit, do you know? Uh, the rap group duo. Okay, I'll tell you what. We're going to have to do a part two. Okay, cold-blooded. If you are <laughs> not saved and you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, That's right. don't wait till Sunday. Uh -uh. Again, if you were drowning, would you wait till Sunday for the lifeguard to come get you? No. You, you, be, you, you want to be saved now. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior simply by going to him and praying, confessing to him, and letting him know, hey, you in charge. Take the wheel, God. Mm -hmm. you, you can accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior right now. And it's been a pleasure. Oh my God, this this has been a this is gonna be a vintage. We gotta have you come back. Yes, sir. Most uh, definitely, we'd like to. Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, let's book it for let's let's do a, let's do a part two. Yes, sir. On the next time. Okay. So you'll be back here the next time. Well, next week. Next week, yeah. Next Friday. Next Friday. What time? Uh, same time. Okay. Same, same time. Place. Same place. <laughs> same back station. Hey, listen, my very special <laughs> guest, my good friend Rick Flynn. Next time. We're going to talk about why that name stuck out in my head. Okay. I'll tell you then. Wow. Dante, the podcast coordinator, wants to remind you that if you want to have your podcast here at WIGO, we can do it for you. You've been practicing in your car long enough. You've been practicing in the bathroom long enough. Mm -hmm. You done paid money to cater so your family can come and watch you. <laughs> You've done all those things. Now you ready. So let's put it out there. Let's get it on with your podcast Right here, W I G O. Join, join me every morning from not from ten to twelve for the Power Moment with Eli Smith. Don't forget to check out Dante, Dante Cross the Boss every Saturday from five uh, from four from four to seven. It's the Dante Cross the Boss radio show. We'll talk more next time. Hey, listen, I love you from the basement of my heart. To the balcony of my mind. Thank you, Rick. Yes, sir. To your yes, wife. Sir, Thank sir. you. To your family. Thank you, Atlanta. One more time. I love you from the basement of my heart to the balcony of my mind. I'm your guy, Eli. Peace. I'm Peace. out. Cold blooded. Cold blooded. <laughs> BLT. Let me have one. My BLT gourmet. That's right. LLC. <laughs> LLC. Yeah. <laughs>